Hello everyone, it's Ashish Johan from Ashish Creation and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. Well guys, today in this video, I'm gonna you know show you how you can create a realistic holy special photo manipulation with kind of cool colors in Photoshop. So here is the model image which I'm gonna edit. So first of all, we'll select the photo with the help of quick selection tool and just roll all over the subject's body to make it selected in a proper way. And just right click on it and select Leva copy option or you can directly press Ctrl J from the keyboard to make a duplication. I have already cut out the image, you can just take your time and just crop. Now crop that uh, image with the help of crop tool and make sure you have selected that 8 is to 10 ratio or 5, 4 is to 5 ratio. Because that is our Instagram ratio. Because we want to put this photo in our Instagram. So now let's just browse the background. You can just download this background from the links in the description. Just drag it and drop over here. Now go to that and select the free transform or directly press Ctrl T and hold the shift and alt key from the one corner to make the transformation in a perfect way. So you can just place the background in whatever position you want. You can just place this background. I'm gonna just adjust it in a perfect way so here I have placed the background now let's blur the background so just go to the filter select the box blur and just make sure to make a blur only a little bit don't add too much of blur otherwise your photo will look unnatural which you don't want right so just make the blur to around <coughs> 35 or 40 around or 25 also would be pretty much perfect now make sure that your background is looking in a perfect way now here the next thing we are gonna do is let's crop the image for our Instagram ratio again just crop and just hit ok and enter now first of all we are gonna just before adding any kind of background we are gonna just you know pump out the exposure of the model so let's go to the filter select the camera filter on the model layer uh, on the model layer and now here we're gonna just increase the contrast and decrease the shadows or let's increase the shadows because we want to get the details of the black increase the whiteness a little bit and make sure to make exposure according to your photo if your you know photo is not exposed properly you can just increase the exposure and just decrease the shadows a little bit increase the whiteness and just decrease the blackness of the photo to maintain more dark effect now let's go to the HSL tab and increase the orange luminescence and also the red luminescence because the we want a brighter skin right so we have increased that, those you know that luminescence now you can see it is really looking very very pretty amazing <coughs> Now the next thing we gonna do is let's select the blur tool and just make sure you have selected the hard round brush and just blur the edges of the model so that it may merge with the background and it is it should not look like you know you have cut out the image it should look more realistic so we, we are doing this process of blurring the edges of whole photo. So finally here we have completed our process of blurring the edges and now let's create a new layer above the background layer and pick the you know reddish or orange color and make the soft round brush and make a one stroke of that color over here and just press ctrl T and we're gonna just place it below the model layer just like this way now we're gonna just increase the lightness because we want to kind of you know that the white is effect white is orange effect so we're gonna just make it as cream color right increase the brush and just place that somewhere over here below the model layer now let's create uh, select the marquee tool square marquee tool create new layer and just fill it with the 50% gray and we gonna do the dodge and burn process on the skin tone now change the blending mode to overlay select the dodge tool from here make sure you have selected the exposure to around 8 or 9 percent don't add too much of exposure 
and here already my skin is exposed so exposed already so I'm gonna just make a exposure only on the head region because other all area is actually you know already exposed so I'm gonna just leave it as it is you can do minor adjustment if you want Now let's select the burn tool and just make a little bit of burning over the cheeks area to get that perfect jaw lines. Now you can see the difference here is the before and here is after a minor difference can be seen in the photo. Now let's go to the field file and let's open up this PNG that is a dust powder color smoke powder PNG now you can just press ctrl D and you can just place it somewhere anywhere with the photo but I'm gonna just make it more different and amazing so just I'm gonna just place this on my t-shirt that because it should look more realistic that is our key point of our editing so I'm gonna just place this below the mo uh, above the model layer now just right click on it and select create a clipping mask so it will only affect the beneath layer now change the blending mode now you can just play with the bl blending mode and see what actually you know fits the uh, that uh, t-shirts that color effects should look more realistic so you can just place that over here now I'm gonna just keep this color dots because this is making your t-shirt to look more realistic so I'm gonna just place this now let's select the eraser tool select the soft round brush and I'm gonna just half edges I'm gonna just erase it off that powder with the help of eraser now let's just again add new background so let's go to the file click on open and I'm gonna just this uh, place this blur PNG of that somewhere on the top of all the layers press ctrl T and you can just place it somewhere over here I have placed this you know that blur image or the blur fabric over here PNG now I'm gonna add, just add some more smoke or brush smoke particles over here press ctrl just uh, T to enlarge and just place it somewhere over here that it should look more kind of you know colorful and realistic so I'm gonna just place this somewhere over here now just right click on it and select uh, create a clipping mask so it will only affect the you know, model layer now change the blending mode to overlay because we want the colors to actually look on the skin right so I'm gonna just uh, using it the uh, overlay option and I'm gonna just place this color over here now again I'm gonna just uh, play with this multiply mode and all the mode which whatever suits your skin and looks more realistic you can just keep it but according to me overlay is kind of looking amazing now again press ctrl j from the keyboard and place one more time this you know on the skin tone so just hit ok right click on it and select, uh, create a clipping mask and now i'm gonna just change again the blending mode to kind of darken because or multiply this multiply is and dark one is actually making your skin and more realistic that color effect so I'm gonna just place this on my hand region so that it may look more realistic because that is our key point of our editing because your photo also should look more real, real right so I'm gonna just place this somewhere over here <coughs> Now again press ctrl J from the keyboard and create a clipping mask and I'm gonna just place this on this portion of the model. Change the blending mode to darken or multiply or normal also would be pretty much perfect if you wish. Press ctrl D. And just place, it, place this somewhere over here because we want the blue color that uh, tone also so I'm gonna just place this now this one is looking kind of cool so just keep it as it is 
Now here still more the strokes of the colors are remaining to be on the skin, right? You can just give a little bit of torch if you want. Now select the brush tool, create a new layer and now guys you can just you know select the kind of pinkish red color over here and just right click on it and select the smoke bomb brush guys I'll just put this bomb brush PNG uh, sorry brush link in the description so you can just download this you know smoke dust particles bomb brush for free so this will make your photo to look more and more outstanding from the you know photo and more make it look more realistic because the smoke particles are really really looking very very amazing especially in this photo so I'm gonna just place this somewhere over here again press ctrl J and again make a duplication of that layer and just place this somewhere over the here again press ctrl J from the keyboard press ctrl T and here I'm gonna change the color of this with the help of ctrl U by pressing Q and saturation from the keyboard that is ctrl U and I'm gonna just make it to kind of bluish tone and just hit ok now again press ctrl D and play with the this tone and I'm gonna just place this on the area of the t-shirts only so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just uh, place this layer about the subjects layer or the model layer let's duplicate once again and just place this on the model layer now just right click on it and create a clipping mask so it will only affect on the t-shirts of the model because we want only on the t-shirts right now again this was our duplicated layer now we gonna just press ctrl T from the keyboard and I'm gonna just place this on the models uh, you know that hair region because the color should also you know that uh, only of should also be affected on the hair because it should not look more unreal right that is our key point so the hair also should contain some kind of color because you are in that kind of uh, you know that atmosphere there where the most of the colors are spread spread here and there so there it is very important to you know place the colors on the head hair region also to maintain the originalism of the photograph now again I'm gonna just place this just drag and drop over here now I'm gonna just place this on the subject layer and again create a clipping mask and I'm gonna just place this on the skin of the face because I want to make it look more realistic that your face is also covered with the colors of you know uh, holy so I'm gonna just place this on the only a little bit portion of the face right so change the blending uh, blending mode to overlay and place this on the skin only on the add just a little bit don't other if you will add this color on the whole face then your face will not be able to look properly right because here we want to maintain the face originalism as well as it should look more real that you you have you know played the holy with colors and it is also affected on the face so i'm gonna just do a little bit only on the both sides so again press ctrl j and make a duplication of the layer press ctrl u to change the color let's make it to kind of reddish stone or kind of purple is pink and I'm gonna just place this somewhere over here a little bit Now this one is looking kind of original and realistic which we actually want. So here we have almost done our process of adding some kind of dust particles and smoke PNGs and color bomb brushes. Now this is really looking very very amazing and dope guys. 
so you can see this was our grayscale of you know dotting and burning now let's do a little bit of you know dots on the eyes of the model to enhance it right on, also on this portion if it is needed right this is totally up to your uh, skin tone and skin type right you can do whatever kind of dodging and burning you want by yourself Now select all the layers by pressing shift and just right click on it and select merge layers I mean I'm gonna just merge again let's crop the image for our final touch so now let's go to the filter and here the real game of editing starts that is of color grading yes here everything you have done but in the, without color grading your photo is not at all looking perfect right this will give you an amazing touch so let's just increase the contrast a little bit I increase some highlights and just the increase the shadows from the photo and let's just increase the whiteness now let's go to the calibration and just move the slider to around minus 15 <laughs> or 12 or you know 7 would be pretty much perfect and just make the saturation to plus 11 of that calibration now here I'm gonna just use the shadows let's just make to 0 9 just increase the shadow if it is needed or otherwise just make a little bit of 12 plus 12 and make the highlights to kind of 41 that is our orange skin tone Just increase the saturation of the highlights only a little bit. Now this one is looking kind of very cool. Now let's sharpen the photo with the help of sharpening. And I will just increase the clarity of the image to a little bit of plus 15. Just increase more shadows to get more deep, deep depth effect of the blackness, you know. I want more darken to be enhanced, so I'm gonna just make it a little bit of minus 11, the darkness effect of the black tone, and increase the vibrance to plus 13 and minus saturation to minus 4. So finally I have made a color grading of this video. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. So you can see the difference guys. It is really looking very very amazing. So here is the before and here is the after guys. It is really an amazing and realistic photo for your you know holy special photo manipulation. If you are thinking to make an amazing photo then this would be a pretty much perfect photo for your holy. So guys I hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just smash the like button and if you still not subscribe to our channel then kindly do subscribe for more videos and regular videos we generally use to upload every day and more presets you can just download from our website that is www.ashvillecreations.com from there you can download mobile lightroom preset pc lightroom preset camera preset and many more lots and all the photo editing as well as video editing stuff for free. So guys go and check it out that website and also guys we are gonna launch soon that is second website that is filterpreset.com so guys stay tuned on that website also and also guys don't forget to follow me on instagram just have actual creations so guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video till then guys be creative and be awesome